Yugi would be proud. What's going on guys, this is Miosin, and today I will be showing you guys some Dark Magician Brave Token combos. Honestly, that engine gave a huge boost to the deck, and now it's probably more consistent and probably more powerful than ever. You can make some pretty big turn 1 boards, and actually combo as if this was almost a combo deck. So, before any of these combos start, make sure, make sure you like and subscribe, check me out on Twitch and Instagram, both links will be in the description box below as always. And now let's get right into combo number, number 1 out of 5. So I have Magician's Rod and Illusion of Chaos in this instance, but of course there are some uh, cards that are interchangeable because this is a searcher for pretty much anything. So you'll be searching the Soul Servant and now you'll be going Illusion of Chaos, search the Magician's Souls and now pitch the Palladium Oracle Mana in order to summon the Souls, send the Soul Servant, draw one, doesn't matter what you draw, and then make the Anaconda, send the uh, Red Eyes Fusion, so you can send the Dragoon, and now you have two draws with the Soul Servant in the Grave, because you have a Palladium Oracle in the Grave and Dark Magician, so just like that, with only two cards, you are able to end on Dragoon and three cards in hand, which is not too bad, so that's it for this combo, very, very simple, but obviously it's just the bread and butter. Moving forward, we're going to go into slightly more complicated combos. Alright, well, speaking of which, this combo is extremely complicated, and I want to say a lot of people might not even be able to see the line of play here but basically if you have something like right of aramisia and effect veiler as hilarious as this may sound this is actually very good in dark magician let me tell you why so you'll be going right of aramisia get your token and then journey of destiny normal summon effect veiler <laughs> yes and then get your one sorry your uh, your equip spell but then you're going to be searching for the aquamancer with the journey of destiny not the griffin rider this would have been uh, doable depending on your hand if you had like other kind of cards but in this instance you're going for the um, Aquamancer and I'm going to be explaining to you why in a second so as you can see we have a level 1 tuner and a level 3 non-tuner a lot of people's reflex might be to make a needle fiber here but ironically this isn't really the goal in this uh, situation you're rather trying to make Herald of the Arclight because when this card is sent from the field to the grave, or actually just sent to the grave period, you can search a ritual monster from your deck to your hand. That's really convenient because Illusion of Chaos just happens to be a ritual monster, and that means that you can search for your Magician Souls. So now you're going to be going for Link Spider, so you have two non-effect, uh, sorry, two effect monsters on the field, make the, the Verte, and then search the Illusion of Chaos, get your Magician Soul search, and just like that, you are able to draw two cards with the Magician Souls, and you, of course you have the Dragoon access. So this is just a very simple two card combo. And it's not even like I had to draw like the nuts for this. If anything, it was almost like underwhelming. And if I draw Soul Servant, I'm going to have two additional draws because the uh, Red Ice Fusion always sends the Dark Magician and the Magician Souls always sends either Dark Magician Girl or the Palladium Oracle. So yeah, it's the kind of situation where drawing cards can make your play even better. And if you get Dark Magical Circle into Magician's, uh, sorry, Eternal Soul, even better in the game because that's another interruption. So huge, huge turn one if you get kind of lucky. But if you don't get lucky, it's still Dragoon and two draws. And I'll take that absolutely any day of the week. So that's it for this combo. Let's get into the next one. All right. So now I will be playing out complicated hands or rather trying to optimize the gameplay when you have a kind of hand that you're like, what the heck am I supposed to be doing? So now I have the equip spell, which is not ideal. It would have been kind of better if I drew the right of Aramisia or the Aqua Mancer, but yeah, this is basically the worst case scenario, but it's still not the end of the world because we still have Magician Souls that we can pitch it uh, in order to get one free draw, so whatever. Uh, you'll be going to be uh, going Magician Souls for the Palladium Oracle, and then pitch the two spells, draw two cards, another Magician's Rod, not the best, and the Eternal Soul is alright, but it's not like super broken. But I'm going to be searching for the Dark Magical Circle because these two cards work very well with each other. And now I'm going to go uh, Pretty Plan Verte Anaconda. Always summon your Dragoon and send your cards first. So that when you go Dark Magical Circle, the odds of you getting a card that you actually want or higher, instead of maybe getting like Red Eyes and Red Eyes Fusion that clearly you don't really want. So now we might actually be able to get something that we want. Didn't really happen, but it's not the end of the world. Draw more cards, and you have Eternal Soul, which is an interruption. Ash, and we drew into Imperm. So that's actually kind of huge. Just like that, a turn one was able to end with six cards in hand and Dragoon on the field, which is very annoying. And this was the Dragoon that was summoned using two non-effects. So it can pop two monsters on your own turn without targeting and deal your opponent a lot of damage, which is ridiculous pressure. So that's it for this combo. Let's get into the next one. Alright, this hand is pretty sick. I have double magical circle with effect veiler, magician souls, 
and Rite of Aramisia. This almost looks like a based hand, but it's not. <laughs> I'll be going Rite of Aramisia, get my token, and then Journey of Destiny. Special summon the Magician Souls by pitching the Paladin Oracle. And now search the uh, either one Griffin Rider off of the Journey of Destiny or the Aquamancer, depending on where you want to go. But the Griffin Rider, I want to say, is a little uh, safer. So now I'm going to get my Excavates with Dark Magical Circle, and I'm going to be stacking my deck so I know for a fact that I'm going to be drawing the two cards that I really want the most, and those would be Imperm and Illusion of Chaos. But Illusion of Chaos won't be really utilizable this turn. It'll have to wait until the next turn because uh, Rite of Aramisia prevents me from using the effect of the monsters that I normal summon, unfortunately. So even if I never use my normal summon on Magician's Rod, there is uh, some form of conflicting, so that is not super ideal. But it's not the end of the world. I'm still going to be searching for it anyways, and I will be normal summoning it because I have the, the option of either normal summoning that or Effect Veiler, and I kind of wanted to keep the Effect Veiler a little greedy maybe, but I don't know. Verte summon Dragoon, and that's already like completely unbreakable board, just like that, so. <laughs> How is your opponent playing through Griffin Rider, Veiler, Imperm, and Dragoon? I really can't figure out a way because you even have Illusion of Chaos, which can next turn search Magician's Rod, search Eternal Soul, and get your, you know, loop of always banishing a card every single turn and reviving back Dark Magician and probably doing way more. And that's going to be too overwhelming for some people. So that's it for this combo. Let's get into the final one. All right, so this is combo number five. My hand looks really whack. I have <laughs> Red Eyes Black Dragon, Dark Magician, Ash, Rite of Aramisia, and Soul Servant. What in the actual flying frick am I supposed to be doing with that? I do not have Magician Souls, or do I have uh, Illusion of Chaos, or the Magician's Rod. This looks like the kind of hand that would literally be doing absolutely nothing. And if you don't understand the potential of the cards that you are splashing, like the red, uh, the Brave Token cards, you will just not be able to do anything at all outside of summon Griffin Rider past turn, which is ridiculously garbage because it's only like two interruptions at best. And you won't really play with a follow-up, whereas now I'm going to try to maximize the uh, value that I have with these cards. So I'll be going right of Aramisia for the token and then get the Journey of Destiny, of course. Normal Summon Ash, <laughs> yes. And now I'll get my search of the Equip spell. And I'm going to be searching not for the Griffin Rider, but for the Aquamancer. And I'll be discarding the Dark Magician. Not super valuable in my hand. It pretty much do does nothing at all. And I'll be going the effect of Aquamancer to summon itself because I control a Brave Token. So I do not have to like waste my normal summon on anything. And now I'm going to be linking off the, the Ash and the Brave Token for Needle Fiber. And what am I about to summon? Effect Veiler. Level 1 Tuner and Level 3 Non-Tuner. I feel like I've seen this somewhere. And yes, I have. Herald of Arclight, and I will be searching the uh, Rite of Aramisia with the Aquamancer, and now I'll be going for Predaplan Verte Anaconda, and Search Herald of the Arclight. Uh, sorry, uh, with the Herald of Arclight. So I'll be searching the Illusion of Chaos, which gets me Magician Souls. It's actually crazy, and I'll be putting back my useless Red Eyes Black Dragon back into my deck, because it's actually a Garnet. Well, it's Attack at Tomborg. You can still play and use Red Eyes Fusion when you draw it. It's just that you'd rather not use it, because you can use it from the hand and from the deck as if it was the exact same thing. So now I'll be going Magician Soul, Special Summon itself, basically for free. And I can pitch two cards to draw two cards. But I'll be going, you know, I want to deck thin first. So I'll be going Red Eyes Fusion and then summon my Dragoon. And now I'm going to be drawing two cards. But I want to make sure that I'm drawing, you know, with a crack. So I'm going Soul Servant, stack my deck for the Dark Magical Circle, and then draw two cards. I will be going Dark Magical Cir Circle again. And now <laughs> draw another two cards. And I have Imperm, Magician Souls, Ash, Illusion of Chaos, Rite of Aramisia, Dragoon, literally all of that. And my opening hand was absolute garbage. I literally had nothing at all. It was so unfortunate, but I had to have Dark Magician and Red Eyes and none of my really good engine starters. So with the this package of the Brave Token and a clever usage of your hand shops, you can pretty much turn any hand into a hand that can draw a lot of cards thanks to Magician Soul being so ridiculously uh, searchable uh, with Illusion of Chaos, which is searchable by Herald of Arclight, which is accessible with a level 3 or level 1 non-tuner with a level 3 or 1 uh, tuner. So it really depends. So that's pretty much it for this combo video. I really hope you guys were able to enjoy and learn a thing or two. If you did, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. I would really appreciate that a lot. And I'll see you guys very soon tomorrow for the deck profile. Peace.